what you done like the Brazilians in Brazil. You built a city and now you want people to live in it. Not at all. I believe that this is the very basis of Oroville's principles. If people who come to make this profession of faith are unable to build their own environment, it would mean that their city is a failure. It's essential that it is being built at the level of the individual experience. One could say that Oroville is the opposite of contemporary urbanism. In our urban conceptions, we make a city on paper. The conception is as intelligent as it can be, and then we ask people to live in it. Here, the process is inverted. People live in experience. And it is from this experience that their environment is created. Wouldn't you like to receive money? Or funds? To accelerate this construction? Certainly. Such an undertaking can happen almost only in difficulty. If there is not a maturity of the problems, at the level of the people who are living the experience, it seems difficult to be able to conceive that the ambition of Oroville can be total. And at the level of its finality, its message. It has to be almost a painful birth in order for the human infrastructure necessary for this realization to be formed. Just the fact of building man at the level of completeness is already such a difficult thing that it cannot happen with material facilities that we are used to in the West. So Oroville will never be finished? Maybe not, but that is not important. What is important is not to build a city, but build new men. From there, what are the delays? How long will it take? Perhaps the future will tell. I hope soon. But in other words, Oroville and you men create each other? It's there without a doubt. It is obvious.